Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine, and this time we're going to talk about a big mystery, the mystery of dark energy. Well, this idea goes back in some form to the days of Albert Einstein, who taught us that matter and energy are interconvertible forms of the same thing. That's what E equals MC squared is all about. You can prove that to yourself if you eat a cracker and run down the street and convert some of that matter into energy. Well, not really, but approximately. However, the whole business got even murkier as we found that everything we really know and is very familiar to us in the universe that's bright stuff, planets, stars, cats, dogs, trees, that's all a very small percentage, about 5% of the mass energy of the universe, so-called baryonic matter. Going back a ways, we also discovered that dark matter, which we really don't understand what that's made of, that makes up about 26% of the mass energy of the cosmos. Well, the whole apple cart got upset in a big way by astronomers in 1998, who discovered that the expansion of the universe is accelerating over time. That force that's causing the acceleration is called dark energy, and this discovery came from looking at very distant supernovae and the behavior uh, very far away from us in the cosmos. We know that dark energy constitutes about 69% of the mass energy in the universe, and we really don't understand what it is at all. If you figure this out, this is something that many telescopes and projects are working on, you can count yourself at the head of the class for a Nobel Prize. This is a big deal that we need to understand so-called dark energy that's driving the expansion of the universe. I'll see you next time.